Hello folks, this is Pran here from The Great Work, and this is the first in a series of videos which is going to be to cover studies that are related to our, uh, our discussion topic. And this, these studies could be related to mewing, they could be myofunctional therapy, postural, they could be related to the appliances and devices used for correction, um, they could be hormonal studies, uh, we could do studies on diet, essentially anything that is related to correction of the skull, correction of the spine, and correction of the body in general, but you know, we'll, we'll try to stay laser focused on um, correction of the skull, the jaws, and the spine as much as we possibly can, because I think most of uh, most of the other issues stem from this issue. Uh, I, I will be making a thread on their great work that will be for the discussion of these topics, or you can discuss them, uh, the video, you can discuss the, the the studies that are in the video in the comments below as well or on social media and uh, every video is just going to be covering just a, a brief smattering maybe five or six uh, I want to show you guys right off the start here that uh, I've got pretty big back catalog a pretty big library of just stuff I've collected over the years that I think might be of interest to people and the one that I'm sharing right now is actually it was posted by someone else I've I've requested their permission to share their name and uh, the fact that they collected these this particular group of studies, and we'll see if they get back to me on that. Um, so let's jump right into the first study, and uh, of course the links will be in the description and they'll also be in the thread. Uh, this is uh, effects of oral malfunctional therapy. You know the name doesn't really matter. I'm not going to go in depth. Uh, so what we have is we have three groups. We've got the T group, the OS group, and the control group. So you got people that were treated with oral myofunctional therapy, so mewing, essentially, um, and then 10 with an occlusal sprint, splint. And uh, what it says down here is essentially that um, initially when they're diagnosed, there was no differences really between the phases. But after the final phase, the people that had myofunctional therapy and splint therapy, they presented significant improvements in their TMJ uh, pain. So the group that had uh, the oral myofunctional therapy, that uh, they had a significant reduction of pain sensitivity as well. So that, that's one uh, study there that will show that correct tongue posture can help people with TMJ issues. On to the second study, which is uh, myofunctional therapy for sleep apnea. Myofunctional therapy is a name you're going to come across often. I think that's, that's become the generally accepted name for oral posture and tongue posture. Uh, and here's just a screenshot of the conclusion, which is that it says essentially that this does help. Um, you can have higher oxygen saturation. And so if, if people have sleep apnea, this study is saying that myofunctional therapy and mewing can have a positive effect on their health and on their oxygen levels and on their apnea. This study here is, uh, is essentially it's going over, it, it's looking at children in mixed dentition and it's seeing if they have any sort of issues, intraoral issues that, you know, doesn't allow them to have proper tongue posture. That, that's not specifically what they're saying, but they're essentially saying, um, is there any oral issues? So are their tongue, their lips, their jaws not functioning correctly and will that cause issues in their dentation later on and they're saying yes they're saying essentially that uh, if if the tongue's lips and such are not operating correctly then you can expect that there's going to be dental issues later on and they should plan ahead for those sort of things now this is a study on uh, children with cerebral palsy and the conclusion of this study is essentially that post therapy measures indicate significant improvement in the function of lips tongue and jaw um, so it, it's it's looking at the functioning of the lips tongue and jaw and saying does can this be corrected with therapy can myofunctional therapy correct this and it is concluding that it uh, it does have significant effects and improvements and the final study for today um, this is from 2000 no 19 and 1997 actually and this is a long abstract luckily what we need is right in the first sentence the most significant findings of this study definitely established the beneficial effects of orofacial myofunctional therapy on improving dental occlusion, decreasing dental open bite, and decreasing dental overjet. Uh, they go into a lot more stuff here. Uh, here's something people 
would likely find uh, interesting is that the secondary findings of the study confirm that age is not necessarily a factor in predicting the success of the therapy program. Um, so it's not, this isn't talking about the jaws, mind you, this is still talking only about the teeth, but they're finding that age did not have a major factor. And uh, I just want to mention something at the end. This is a great way that they end their abstract, uh, quite relevant to all of us. It says, the dark ages of disbelief only remain dark as long as we forget to turn on the light. Um, interesting enough, K.K. Uh, Benkart, 1997. Um, and th that's what I'm saying here. Uh, I showed you already my little archive that you'd be surprised how, how much, uh, how old, how old a lot of this research is. Um, and so I think it's very important that we help make sure that this research is known about, you know, if, if you're the type of person that likes to throw studies at people, uh, this is probably the good video series for you and that'll be a good thread for you um, so that you can have those discussions. Uh, very, very well informed, very confident that you're actually backed by peer researched evidence uh, when, you, when you're speaking about this topic. Uh, other than that, just some just some housekeeping here. Uh, I joined a Discord. Uh, I think this one's already very popular. Orthotropics, it's called, and uh, it's I'm under the name of the Great Work. I'm not that great with Discord, but you can now find me on there if you want to have discussions. And um, I got the articles that I'm talking about here from somebody uh, who posted in a Facebook group. I've I've reached out to them asking, do they want do they want me to acknowledge the fact that they compiled it? And if they get back to me, then I will drop uh, a reference to who they are. And uh, if you have interesting articles, then you can please send them my way on the great work or on Discord or just drop them in the comments down below here or on social media. And um, I, I have this enormous back catalog of articles and interesting you know, images that I would like to go through. And we'll go through them bit by bit. And... Uh, we'll go through them as a group and I think it's going to help everyone out. All right. That's everything for today. Thank you.